And it's Kim Kratzer at Yankee Stadium for Sons of the American Legion Radio. Uh, we are at Military Appreciation Day. I have a chance to talk with Brigadier General Kevin Leahy. And, sir, good to see you. What is it like to be at Yankee Stadium for you today? Oh, this is fantastic. I grew up outside the city. was born in the Bronx. This is a tremendous honor for me today. Oh, that's great. Now, tell us a little bit about uh, your work. I understand that you're out in uh, on the West Coast and Northwest. Tell us a little bit about your role there. Yeah, I'm the uh, Deputy Commander of the Army's 7th Infantry Division at Fort Lewis, Washington. Very good. Tell us a little bit about your unit, some of the kind of uh, work that it does, some of the deployments. It's a, it's a very well-known group. Yeah, the uh, 7th Infantry Division, of course, is a uh, historic division back to World War I and World War II. Uh, the current division has two brigades and uh, spends a lot of time focused on the Pacific. We well, you know my dad uh, commissioned in 1942, and he was sent to Oregon and Washington to start the 91st Infantry, which he ended up as uh, taking to Italy in World War II in 1944. Great history there. Tell us a little bit about uh, uh, what is it like for you to be at Military Appreciation Day with the Yankees? Yeah, it's amazing. Again, I said a uh, Yankee fan my whole life, so to come today uh, and do this, and I'm going to throw out the first pitch and hopefully do a good job at that, it's really a tremendous honor for me. Oh, first pitch. Tell us a little bit about uh, your career. How did you join the Army? And uh, tell us about some of the stops along the way for you, if you would. Sure. I, uh, I uh, entered the Army Reserve. I actually enlisted in uh, 1989. I uh, was a military policeman in the Reserves for a couple years, then in college, uh, ROTC, he was commissioned as a military police officer, uh, spent a few years there, then I transferred over to Special Forces, and uh, once I got into Special Forces, I was in the 5th Special Forces Group at Fort Campbell, Kentucky, uh, focused mostly on the Middle East, spent a lot of time in the Middle East, uh, Afghanistan in 2001, uh, Iraq 2005, 6, 7, 8, uh, then I went back, very lucky to uh, go to the 5th Special Forces Group several times command a battalion there and actually command the group and uh, and lead uh, some of the uh, counter ISIS fight in Syria with fifth special forces group so uh, that's been uh, that's been my uh, my army life in a nutshell Wow that's a that's a lot of service to our country last question why is the U US Army a great place for young people to learn le leadership skills the US Army is a fantastic place to learn leadership skills there's nowhere else that you're going to get the responsibility that you get as a uh, as an army soldier, NCO, or officer. Uh, you'll get that at an early age. You'll learn those leadership skills. And whether you stay in the army for 20 years or you get out in four, it'll be a, uh, a great uh, skill that you'll have in your kit bag and be able to use for the rest of your life. Brigadier General Lee, thank you so much for your service to our country from everybody at the American Legion and the 1.5 million veterans at rallypoint.com. Great to see you today. Yeah, hey, thank you very much, Ken. And I'd like to also uh, mention post uh, American Legion Post 369 in Oakland, New Jersey. Uh, those guys were uh, great, and they uh, they showed up for my recent promotion ceremony in, in force. So uh, it was great to see those guys, and I appreciate their service and their uh, continued service to our country. Great to see you, sir. And th again, thank you for your service to our country. This is Ken Kratzer, Yankee Stadium for Sons of the American Legion Radio. Operations to destroy ISIS in Syria. Please welcome the Deputy Commander of the United States Army's 7th Infantry Division, Ross Naylor, Brigadier General Kevin Leahy.